La Vuelta 2023 crosses into France, the peloton preparing to tackle the Tourmalet. Nowhere to hide for the GC hopefuls, Jumbo Visma versus Remco Evenepoel, the defending champion choosing pros over cons. It's actually a privilege and an honor to, uh, to race up those climbs today. Not scared, but let's say like positive uh, stress and uh, some positive tensions. I did a recon of this stage, so I know what's coming. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting to, uh, to start here. It's the second time I do Tumale this year. So uh, last time I went into the, into the yellow jersey. So I, obviously I hope to have a, a good day again today. You guys are leading the race. Does it mean um, you will defend or attack is the way to win La Vuelta? Yeah, we don't really know yet. We will see how, how it feels, how everyone feels and uh, we'll decide on the road. UAE Emirates still in the mix with three riders in the top 10. Juan, are you so confident if they get things right? I think uh, if, if us as a team, we keep up there in the front with three, three riders and, and I can gain time in, on, on the other contenders. Others want to tame the Tourmalet in search of a stage win. 2019 King of the Mountain at the Tour de France, Romain Bardet targeting a win on home soil. Je suis dans une super journée, c'est clair. Et puis aussi euh, arriver à lire la course. Euh, voilà, c'est clair qu'il me faudra un petit coup d'avance. Après, euh, je me sens bien. Donc euh, voilà, on va voir. Il euh, faut que j'essaie de lire un peu la tactique des équipes pour faire mon effort au bon moment. A monstrous stage of nearly 4,000 meters climbing after leaving Fort Miguel. A long descent, an opportunity for a break from the peloton, then the Col d'Espandel. Pogacar blew up on stage 18 of last year's Tour de France there, before the terrific Tourmalet, almost 20k at 7%. Bon courage. An energetic start to the day's action. No break established though, instead of focus on points at the Fortale summit. Roman Bardi at the head to pocket three points, a focus for DSM and the Frenchman at this Vuelta. A long 20 kilometer descent towards the Col d'Aubisque, potential encouragement to any wannabe escapades, but inside the final 1000k, we're yet to see a move. Until Andreas Kron kicked on, alone at first, but soon joined by Rodriguez and Kenny Ellison. Jumbo Visma in charge of the peloton, yet trouble for Remco Evenepoel. The Belgian seeing the clock spin against him, three kilometers before the next summit. The defending champion of La Vuelta España is in difficulty. He's only going backwards from this group and he's unable to stay with this group here or even stay with his general classification rivals. Michael Storr of Groupama FTJ taking control at the front at the Obisque. Cron, Rodriguez and Ellison in his dust. The Ambo Visma animated peloton passed 30 seconds later, but Remco looked to have popped. Around two minutes lost, the defense of his title appeared over with 50k to go. End of the breakaway. Bahrain victorious hitting the front in place of Jumbo Visma. At the foot of the Col de Spandel, riders able to catch up. Jumbo Visma and Bahrain victorious, loosening their grip with 20 or so in the lead group. Yet Evanapol was nowhere to be seen. More than five minutes down, the cam before the storming of the Tourmalet. Polkadot ambitions made clear with an attack. 1.5k from the Col de Spandel summit. Storer kicking, the Australian pocketing 10 points and six seconds. As he went over the top, followed by Vinegard, enticed with four seconds added to his overall time. Storer happy with his day's work. Slipping back into the leaders grouping as they traverse the descent. Wilco Kelderman and Robert Hessink leading the way, Jumbo Visma setting the pace. A chance to set up an addition to their two stage wins already this Vuelta. Yet it was pain for others. Former red jersey Lenny Martinez started fifth overall, but in trouble. The top 10 already losing Remco and Jao Almeida. 
At the front with 12k from the Tourmalet Peak and 14 riders still there. Outside of Jumbo Visma's quartet and other members of the GC Top 10, Steph Kras of Total Energy keeping up and a young Belgian on his Welta debut, Sian Utbroek, living alongside the top class field. And now here is Jonas Vingegaard. Many wondering if Vingegaard would have the legs after winning a second successive Tour de France title, but the Dane comes to life in the high mountain air. As he went up the road, Roglic and red jersey Kuss left to control the rest. Lopez, Flaslov, Kras, Soler all dropped one by one. It must have been strange for Vinegar to be out alone without Tadej Pogacar for company. Instead of a cat and mouse battle, Jumbo Visma's master plan unveiled and executed to perfection. This two-time Tour de France champion Jonas Vingegaard is coming and he's coming for his first Vuelta stage victory. The Queen stage of La Vuelta España and he's going to be a king who's crowned on the Col de Tourmalet. Jonas Vingegaard is going to take the stage on the Col de Tourmalet. He's going to give Jumbo Visma another stage victory and that was a masterclass. And Kuss has delivered too. He crosses the line. Vingegaard, Kuss, Roglic. A one, two, three for Jumbo Visma. A Jumbo Visma one, two, three on the stage and in the GC. Second to Bogacar when the tour passed the peak on stage six. This time the Great Dane conquered the summit. The first since Chris Froome in 2017 to win a Vuelta stage after winning the Tour de France. An emotional Vinegar dedicated the victory to someone special. I'm just so happy and I couldn't choose a better day. Uh, today is the birthday of my daughter and uh, I wanted to win for her so bad today. I'm just so happy and today I did it for her. One, two, three in the stage, one, two, three on GC. Was that the plan or is it better than the plan? I think that's even better than the plan. A first Vuelta victory for Vinegar, 30 and 33 seconds ahead of his teammates. Juan Ayuso sprinting to a fine fourth. Marc Soler was second overall before stage 13, but lost more than three minutes. Seb Kuz remains red, Jumbo Visma could yet sweep the Grand Tours with three different riders, 1 minute 47 separating the Dutch team's trio. Sudan Quickstep said Remco wasn't ill, but the defending champion sunk without a trace. Vinegard into the polka dot jersey with his stunning climb, shaking loose 26 points. Kuz second, Storer in third. Evenepoel losing 25 minutes, his well to defence ends on the Tourmalet. Ayuso therefore takes the Belgian's white jersey and fourth overall. Lenny Martinez slips to 14th in the GC. The Peloton faces more fatigue in the French Pyrenees tomorrow. Three major climbs in just 156.5k. The stage ideal for a quality breakaway. But can anyone challenge Jumbo Vismar before the final week marches to Madrid? Not Remco Evenpool after a day of suffering. Okay.